Hello and welcome to another edition of Kaleidoscope. Here we are back in the buffer zone on a very hot afternoon together with the usual suspect Terry Kofaro and today we will be speaking about the prospects of geology on tourism in Cyprus. With me I've got two experts and you're a qualified expert. I have with me Kostandia Hileos who is a medical geologist and she'll explain to you later what that is. And Mehmet Nesjet, yes. who is a geologist. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Um, and let's start with a basic description of what, how geology can be help tourism. What, how can change the face of tourism? So, um, geology has got a lot of prospect, especially in Cyprus on mm. ge- on tourists. Uh, Cyprus, as we know, is but. Be- the main industry is tourism, mm. but or the boring tourism, yeah, or the usual. Yeah, but we we still continue to uh, inquire only massive tourists. Mm. But there are other aspects of tourism, more sustainable tourists, like geo tourism. So, and actually, in 2017 is the international year of sustainable tourists, which is a good year to start thinking other sustainable aspects of tourism. And what does the me- the term sustainable mean? How can you apply it to... I know it in terms of sustainable peace building. How does it apply to well, geology and to tourism? Okay, imagine when you go to the beach after the tourists left. What do you see? You Disgusting see rubbish. A, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so a sustainable would be just the opposite. And wastewater also. Reclaiming all the re- wastewater is okay. another en- energy-consuming work. So sustainability is coming from the point of uh, the energy consumption... Recycling and many other things. Okay, I've got uh, the latest craze that's happening on Facebook is the use of straws. Yeah, <laughs> the waste of the straw. Yeah, yes. because it, and apparently I found out that they're really destructive to fish yeah. because fish think they are fish because they move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they eat them, or yeah. they and they chop. Yeah, and the plastic generally, pl- yeah. especially plastic bags. For turtles, especially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's start about what is, why we're we talking about geology and geotourism here in Cyprus. How old is Cyprus? Well, it's about so, 90 million years. Uh, yes, it Fisto. starts with 90 million years ago from the top, uh, from the bottom of the ocean. So it comes from the mantle. The oceanic crust yeah. comes out, and many, many. That's Drodos, actually. So the Drodos oh. Mountains was a part of the ocean crust that yes. came out. Okay, and that's how we started the island to create, be created from, from the, the ocean. Mount, from the ocean, and the, okay. Maybe the myth of Aphrodite giving birth from the sea is similar to geology, actually. So, mm-hmm. like the Aphrodite came from the sea, also Drodos came from the sea. Okay, yes. and is that why you sometimes find fish fossils in the mountains? You don't find the fossils in the mountains, around the mountains. Around the mountains, yes. Where? Okay. Yes. But not where they should be. Not on the coastline. No, no, no. They are in where they should be, where it used to be a sea. You find fossils But when, the, where, when they used to be sea a thousand years ago. Not yeah, not a thousand, million. Yeah. Millions. Millions. Yes. We only talk about millions yes. in million geology. Years ago. Yes. <laughs> so to us today, where we see fish fossils is not where we find sea, where we can see sea. It was the sea. It was the yeah, sea. Yeah, yeah. It was the sea. Masauria was, once upon a time, it was under the sea. Okay. So um, getting a mountains and the Trodos mountains were separated from that sea, Masauria place. The two of you are working on a project, are you not? Uh, we are working towards to make a project. Okay. But we don't. Want to just okay, so you don't want to jinx it now. See, hopefully we'll come again and we'll discuss that project. Tell me, how does geology affect our daily lives, the geosciences? Well, if you find your back, if you oh. check everything, almost everything throughout you are including your back, like your mobile phones or your other, makeup. your makeup, where everything actually came from Earth. So geology is a very big part. Okay. Of it. So geology actually find the ores, the minerals to hydrocarbons, minerals. Yeah, all these things the geology discovered, so you can use it today. How well informed are we as separates about this? Unfortunately, um, not. Why? And we have, I mean, we we are very old as an island, and we have all sort of... We are very significant in geology, especially Drodos. Why? Because of the ophiolite. 
uh, as I say, it's the power of the ocean crust that came up. And not in the whole world, the world, if you travel around Earth, you cannot find this piece of information. It's very rare, only here in Oman. And here we are a good place because yes. all the layers of the ocean crust you can find in Cyprus. Whoa. Mm. So it's very rare, uh, uh, very unique. Uh, throughout those mountains and actually the whole Cyprus mm. yes. we have also the two plates so you you go to the Kerinia mountain you see the Eurasian plate yes it's the continuation of the Alp system yes. yes and if you go to the Papos district you see the Mamonia rocks which is actually the African plate yes and that's why it's so significant the island and it can get a lot of prospects on tourists so it's, it's mm. almost as if Cyprus it's almost as if Africa Cyprus and Asia were joined yes exactly yes and they broke into this beautiful island. Island. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And what is so different about the ocean crust? Uh, what does it bring that's so different? I mean, I know it's got to be something, but explain it to us. Well, I will say something about where everybody know if you're a Cypriot, the copper. Okay. Mm -hmm. So copper history is Cyprus occurs because of the Trodos Mountains, the oh. Ophiolite, the rocks from the oceans. It okay. came from the copper. So that the ro these rocks, they call them pillow lavas because they actually look like a pillow. Yes. Mm. So that lavas, they have the copper yes. metal. Okay. And that's why a lot of our history, ancient, from antiquity until now, we use copper. Where else do you find copper? A lot of places, uh, like Chile is the main mine. Uh, of oh, copper. Major yes. m copper mines yes. now, At currently. At yeah. Atacama. Yes, which is uh, Atacama. It's a desert. Okay, in in Chile, in Chile, in Chile yeah. and also the other parts of the country. Or this, or the yes, but uh, four thousand years ago, Cyprus was, was number one. Yes, because but we don't have a lot of copper anymore, do we? No, yes. because have we, of have we over you? Have we? Ex, uh, is it exhausted, or aren't we? Don't we have the right way to bring out what is left? Is combined, I think, these two factors. So we have only the poorer ores remaining okay. now. Maybe in the future, when technology is evolved enough, we can get the remaining copper in a cheaper uh, form. Now, it's maybe it's too expensive to use it in this form. Okay. So tell us, I want to hear more about the ocean crust that crust. to the top. I think it's quite. Yeah, it it's is. It's quite awesome, it and is. we don't we underestimate it or we play it down. Well, I will say something that from 1900 scientists come to Trollos to study because of that uniqueness. Mm. So I have an old, old very old book, it's uh, 1920, that describes from a French professor coming to Trollos and describing all this that he is seeing. Okay, um, and what does this ocean crust have? What is it that makes it different? Well, what is its quality that makes well, it different? Well, you learn a lot of the, uh, the Earth history. So it, you, in order to to learn it, you have to drill in the ocean, and it's very expensive. It's like millions, one uh, borehole can be millions to drill it. But we don't need to in Cyprus. We just go to drills and study it. Okay. So you go to the Olympus Mountain, the highest point, you see the deepest layer. You have to drill 60 kilometers to find that rock in the okay. oceans now. So what it, its purpose, biggest or its most important purpose, it's, it's given us a way to research the sea and at mountain level. Yes. <laughs> How the tectonic, if you have heard the tectonic plates. Yes. So the whole, the whole theory came from the oceans. Okay. There is uh, earthquakes and the volcanic activity. Yes. They were uh, seen by submarines. Okay. So what am I seeing? I'm new to Cyprus relatively, and I was hiking at the Madari Trail. Mm. And yes. there's a kind of sheet of rock that appears to be vertical. What is that? That's the dikes. Yes, it was coming from the mantle, from the deep of the magma. In the, when the when the when the Trodos was settling, it comes this uh, magma chamber. The veins, the veins. veins of the lava. So are these very old parts of? The yeah. So it started sort of the oldest. Yeah, it was created 90 million years mm -hmm. ago, and you see them now in Tishadis Madaris or Madari. The mm -hmm. trails there, but uh, it's a magnificent actually the place there to see it's them. It's incredibly beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Tell me how popular are these trails with tour guides? Because I can go and see them, but like Terry, she didn't know what she was seeing. Mm -hmm. Are the guides? Yeah, there are a lot of. I mean, mm -hmm. are, like the Olympus Mountain Trails, Artemis, and the Landy Trail. They are very popular. Most people go to Artemis, let's say, which is the, the highest point. And about two years ago, uh, two years now, it's a geo trail. So okay. they have 
add an information. It used to be a natural trail, now it's a geo trail. What's so the they, difference? So they add an information about the geology. You okay. see signs of the rocks now yeah, okay. for two years now. Yeah. So that's the change. I, I did read those signs. I just wanted our guests to explain it again because it's so fascinating. And I was really impressed, actually, that Cyprus has these kinds of identifications of plant life and, mm. and um, ge you know, s stones. And it's amazing. It's yeah, because it's not only the geology, but because of the geology, you have the endemic species, like the fauna and the flora, which is very important mm. also. Mm. Uh, we have, like, a, for example, uh, bird watchers mm. coming to try to study a lot of birds, which are, they come to, uh, I think, to nest here, mm -hmm. only in Cyprus, and you find them. Mm. Wow. Tell me, Mehmet, is there a lot of, are there a lot of geotrails in the north? Yes, there are some uh, geotrails, uh, not geotrails, let's say eco trails okay. because uh, hiking walking is very uh, popular yes. now uh, by the trees by the local people so there are groups of people making their walks on these trails okay uh, but geology part is not uh, much in front and uh, some of the organizers are telling me that they need also geologists uh, for giving information because when they see a rock, uh, they don't understand how it occurs, how it comes there. And also many people are asking those things. So this is the reason that we talk, we, we collaborate with Constantia about the local tourism from the international tourism to bring to be because Cyprus, the geology of the Cyprus, they can say Cyprus is an open geological museum. Oh, because there's so much variety, yes, yes, and it's, it's so old. Yes. So it's many diversity, yes, okay. diversity, let's say it's called. Like at the beginning, Constantia said about uh, you know African plate. We, pa we, we we find part of African plate. We we find oceanic plate. We find Eurasia, some parts of Eurasia. So it's a kind of place that uh, many aspects came together, and it makes it's unique. Oh. Cyprus geology. Yeah. So this is a place where everything comes together. Mm. Yes, let's uh, like we said. Uh, part one part is from the African plate, one part from the Eurasian plate. Mm -hmm. Some part like Trodos is oceanic, and also uh, we find some uh, some remains from the dry desert, dry uh, Mediterranean, like the gypsum evaporites mm -hmm. on the uh, around of the Cyprus. So, uh, but on the other hand, uh, the the education of geology on Cyprus is almost uh, very mm -hmm. limited or very very minimal uh, level. So, I and think not available to the tourists. Well, someone gave me a really nice explanation of why we should reunite Cyprus. Yes, of course. We should reunite Cyprus because this is a unique combination. Of a whole of, of geodiversity, biodiversity. Mm, sure. It's not exactly. meant to be separated. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> exactly. Sure. So Cyprus nature has be. come yeah. together yeah. here. Yeah. Yes. And it's unnatural to divide it. And actually, it starts from geology. So you have a lot of diversity in geology. That's why you have a lot of diversity in landscapes, in uh, in the animals, in, in, in the flora. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in everything. In culture, mm. even. Tell me, the other thing we have a lot of here in Cyprus is asbestos. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Which used to be very popular and yeah. used to be widely used mm -hmm. yes. and has since got a bad reputation. From 2005, it was banned the EU. But where did we used to use it? So to be known now? Well, Cyprus is uh, an, an ancient source of asbestos. So you, we used to use it in everything. In the Roman time, they make uh, sheets and shoes from asbestos. It was their daily lives, the asbestos use. Uh, why is asbestos? Why was it so popular? What does asbestos do? Is it doesn't is it, burn? It doesn't burn. Okay. Doesn't yeah. burn. Is it a stone or a mineral? A or mineral. It's mineral. Mineral. Yes. Mineral. It's a fibrotic mineral. So it's like what fibers. Is, oh, okay. Uh, it breathes. It. You know, if you separate them, then you can breathe okay. them. It can be airborne, and you okay. can break them. Yes. So that's the carcinogenic aspect okay. of asbestos. So it was widely used because it didn't burn. Yes. Which meant it so was in the modern time, it was used for insulation. Mm -hmm. That's why the houses were built, the roofs, the pipes, the everywhere. Mm -hmm. Even the paints they used to put fibers of asbestos. Okay, and then what happened? What did they discover about it, asbestos? Well, actually, the whole thing. I think the worst part was they've used it in buildings here. Yeah. They put oh, it in the wall. In everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yes. 
I mean, the British in the British era of Cyprus, they built the all the buildings they used to use have asbestos. The British, okay, and uh, they actually brought also in the U K. So a lot of even schools, the seventy five percent of schools in U K. They are built with asbestos, and now okay. they they try to remove it in the modern okay. years. Okay, but then what did they discover about asbestos? Well, it was discovered until night at the beginning from the scientists knew from 1930, but they had to take until 1980 for the government to do something, the governments to react. Okay, uh, that's why the mine in Cyprus, the Zesso mine, which is in Trollos Mountain, it was closed in 1988, so late. And what happened to the people that worked there? And uh, besides losing their jobs, what yes. happened to the people that worked there? Well, they have a lot of problems with asbestos and lung cancer okay. and mesothelioma, another lung disease associated with asbestos. Um, and now it's forbidden everywhere? It's, no, in EU, EU from 2005, but there are still countries that use it, like Russia and China. They still mine asbestos. Yeah. Is this what uh, a kind of issue that medical geology is concerned with? Yes. I mean, we, we talk about natural things that the, we feel that is safe, but actually they can't not. Asbestos is a good example. Mm -hmm. That's why we talk about that. But there are much more things that we uh, use that actually harm us, and we don't know it. Like? Like, uh, we talk about granite that everybody put in their house, but yes. you have to have granite. Yes. Yes, <laughs> granite. Yes, each, yes. And it's expensive. Yes. Yes, it's very expensive. Yes. Very expensive. But yes. they say it really is radium, which is a radi radioactive uh, element. Which is carcinogenic. Uh, car yeah, yeah, it's uh, radioactive. So, yes, uh -huh. you can go with the cancer from that. Okay. Tell us another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, that's not banned, granite. No, no. Mm -hmm. we, we still have a lot of years to work to convince yes. the people that they make yes. all this law and the government to yes. ban things. Don't you just need to walk in with one of those little Geiger counters and have it go into mm -hmm. the red? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, it would not be so easy. Yeah. But uh, that's why we came, scientists, in order to try to prove to these people that they take decisions, uh, especially in the EU that we are now, to convince them not to use them. What, uh, what else is... Uh, daily thing we use that's not that we should not be using can you think of another one well uh, your lipstick actually some of the lipstick the shiny ones <laughs> oh the glossy ones yeah the glossy oh. they p usually put lead to that's can why I actually <laughs> put only mud <laughs> I want to I don't want to alarm you but no 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 I, I mean I think we need to alarm people because I think deep down most a lot of us know this and just carry on because it isn't said enough. We, we talk about carcinogenic and so on, but it doesn't mean... I mean, you have a percentage. The percentage actually says if you have 5% to get the disease, means that in five people, 100, they, they take the disease. But it also, you have to consider the organism. So yeah. my organism can be stronger than yours. Uh, yes, there's a lot of variables. Yes, yeah, so a, a lot, lot of, of variables. Yes, actually, a Can lot of factors. Oh. Can I ask you something? How different is the geology of the north and the south? What do you mean? Um, are there things you find in the north that you don't find in the south and vice versa? Yes, I mean the Kyrenia Mountains. You don't yes, find them. Because Kyrenia Mountains are from... Uh, Asia. Uh, Eurasia, yes. Yes, Eurasia. Uh, yes uh, limestone, dolomitic limestone. This is not uh, much in the south. Only the... Uh, Triassic uh, limestone uh, uh, in Ammonia poly, poly, yes, poly hills of area, yeah. Asambulia towards Aphrodite, but it's different uh, because this is from the Torite chain, okay, and uh, also Turbidites. Turbidites are the sandstones, marls, uh, shales originated from Euphrates, from okay. Tigris. From from, from the east, from, from northeast, Georgia, yes. from northeast, uh, eastern part of Turkey, there was a big uh, delta. Let's say 60 million years ago, and it came until the the area of Cyprus. Mm -hmm. So it's a very complicated yes. story in this area. So because there are three continents: Eurasia, Arabic platform, and also African plate. These three uh, plates they have. 
uh, come together. intersected yeah. and Cyprus has come out from here. And so that's why the landscape also is different. Like, yes. And there's a, a lot of uh, caves in Gerenia Matos. You cannot yes. find that. Uh, limestone. Big caves yes. in limestone and gypsum, which is yes. very extraordinary case. We don't have so much. Is lime, limestone not harmful? No, limestone no. is not. No, I'm just checking. Calcium <laughs> carbonate. Yeah. Calcium carbonate <laughs> doesn't <laughs> have any. Yeah, <laughs> calcium carbonate doesn't have any because calcium we need as a element in our bodies. Carbonate. Yes. It, and it came from the rocks actually. The calcium so, in your bones. Mm. So also we have gypsum, uh, calcium sulfate. For four and a half million years ago, Mediterranean dried up because the water balance in Mediterranean Sea is sub, sub, supported from Atlantic Ocean. This uh, connection was ceased four and a half million years ago, and the uh, Mediterranean became a dried lake. Mm -hmm. So this is calcium sulfate, or Ipsaro, yeah. this is known, uh, deposited at this stage. And, uh, and then when did the water come back? Then the water came back after oh. some geological effects have yeah. changed <laughs> and it started to replenish the Mediterranean Sea from Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. And uh, the water balance came to a, a, a equal level mm -hmm. and uh, this continued. You know, geology is a non-stopping process on the Earth. Okay? Yes, it is. And there is a motto, it's, it's said, uh, today is the key of the past. Mm -hmm. So today, what's going on in geological part, it means that uh, it will give a clue for the future. And that's why you have to study earth science to, uh, for the goals of climate change, they have okay. said. The ones that Trump says are not happening. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he, the illusion of not happening. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. A Over, it's a conspiracy. Yes, of scientists, yes. yes. Okay. Um, I have a question about that, since we're talking about climate change. We talk a lot about how we as humans affect climate and change climate with our actions. Can you talk about how the geological landscape affects climate? Well, CO2 actually comes from volcanoes. So the eruption of the volcanoes releases CO2, and that changes a lot of the climate. Okay. That's why the ice melted in the, um, and the, the, the glacier uh, era. Yes. This is how the ice was melted, because of the volcano erupted. The whole earth was covered in ice. That's right. All the volcanoes could raise the CO2, and, uh, and that's and why we have life. So when people take those samples, they go down some, you know, hundreds of meters, and they come up with a tube of soil or whatever, a yes. metro rock. They can describe storms that happened. Yes. And, and is that Past because of carbon? Yeah, yeah. They're reading carbon. Yes. Uh, a lot of different things. What about earthquakes? Yes. 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 Wouldn't, I mean, I mean, we had... A but massive earthquake last night. Yes, on the coast of Cor. Yes, Cor yes. Okay. isn't that something that affects climate? Would affect climate change because it. Because they are at the borders of the plates, mm -hmm. are the source of earthquakes. Let's say Pacific mm -hmm. Ocean is the biggest uh, source of the earthquakes, like South America, like Japan, like uh, Indonesia, like California in North America, Northwest America. So these are the results of the movement of plates. Mm. They are uh, coming together, they collide together, they, they, they are going away from each other. So this is a not ending process. Geology, a human age is only observed 60, 70 years, but we are talking about million years, millions of yes. years. Billion. In geology, this is the scale of the moments, the scale mm -hmm. of the deposition, the scale of the mountain building process. And it makes you feel so small. Because you yes. are, you're looking back 90 yes. million exactly. years and you're considering the future, our yes. future. Yes. Yes. Um, I mean, you and base in the future what will happen, you, you can predict. So the, all the models, they, uh, they tell you what it will happen is based on data you have already collected from the past. Or earthquakes, they can also predict earthquakes, can't they? Uh, not in that concept. But, I mean, I, I cannot tell you tomorrow will be an earthquake in, you know, Papos. Okay. Uh, and it will be 6.5. Okay. Eh? So, so in this convent, no, you cannot say. But you can tell that it's not done yet. So you have seismic activity for some time. Okay. 
that's what we still we cannot predict in this form that people you, they think we can you cannot do that okay. nobody can do that but I, I would like to add something here you know there is a fault line it's yeah, a yeah. it's a it's a border it's a boundary between african plate and eurasian plate okay. so this fault line is the source of the strong earthquakes for the southern coast of Cyprus. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, this doesn't mean only the southern part of Cyprus. This all affects the whole of Cyprus. Mm. So this is a general uh, view for the for the Cyprus. And uh, in 2000, uh, there was a bicommunal project was done, Greater Nicosia Earthquake Risk Assessment. Mm -hmm. and I worked on this project. It was three, four years, uh, UNOPS, uh, American Geological Survey and the Cypriot Geological Surveys work on this together and uh, very nice results uh, were put as a bicommunal okay. base on this time and so uh, this is this also needs those studies uh, for the for the island wide island base so uh, we have to think about this but I do think if we want to solve the Cyprus problem, we've got to start doing things like working on things that are not directly related to peace building or not mm -hmm. obviously related to peace yeah. building, like biodiversity, like yes. musical content, doing things that unite or or combine or are unified but naturally, like the yes. island is a unit. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yes. Or the music is a unit. Well, the nature sure. actually is a unit. Yes. Even yes. if we are separated from Africa, from the sea, mm -hmm. we're still affected from the Africa. Mm. You know, all the dust storms we have Terrible. in Cyprus. Exactly. There's the no heat. line there. It doesn't stop the dust yes. from Africa coming. So or the birds don't stop and say, there's a board. I need yeah. to have a line. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Is there, so we are unique at every level. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we also got. <laughs> do we also have unique flora and fauna? Yes. A, a unique as in combination. Endemic. Yes. We have endemic species. Mm -hmm. so like? Uh, the mouflon. Okay. So that's very important. Where we cannot find every, anywhere in the world the mouflon. We have something very similar in roads. Dogri <laughs> That's what they used to call it in. Yeah. In roads, I used to oh. live on the island of roads. Okay, they have something similar. Similar to you, it was called the Grigri. Ah, Grigri. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so okay, birds. Do we have any specific birds? I don't remember the names. Okay, <laughs> so we do have uh, flora and fauna that you can only find here. We have the birds that come in Cyprus to nest, and okay. it's an excellent uh, season, especially in the spring. That's mm -hmm. why where the bird watchers come in trolls to study them to see them. Mm. Uh, and also and by pygmies, the pygmies, 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 yeah, we have uh, snakes, the snake snakes. of Cyprus, a black snake. We have, we a have a flamingo. Okay, well, it's not a demi species. Is it a no. no, no, it's not a demi species. It's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what are we going to do about attracting this kind of tourism to Cyprus? Because I, as much as I like the sea, and I think we've got beautiful beaches, mm -hmm. of course. we have such a beautiful island the archaeological sites the naturals I mean I prefer the archaeological to the nature but I'm yes I'm but not a beachy kind of girl but I will as we said everything yeah, are connected it's important really and everything's important and everything are connected actually I mm. mean geology is actually based also yes. in geology so when if you see the ancient towns like Idalium or um, Gurium or Palepaphos, mm -hmm. uh, they have reason why they are there. Yes, uh, they took the copper from and took it towards the, these ancient cities. There was a route actually connected to the mines to the ancient cities. But I find it so amazing that when you see these ancient cities, there is such a logic to why they were built there and why the yes. houses face in a certain direction yes. and why the streets on a certain width mm. and it's also and the system through. and the system they have a sewage system they have water system yeah. they have everything and they also have a natural check um, to check the view the also the really beautiful way they use the natural stones and things available to them at that mm. time i know that there are natural pigments could you describe or some of the colors yeah like? that's a good actually yes, <laughs> sure. very nice. i was waiting if you didn't i will yes. tell okay. you 
So the natural pigments are actually rocks from Trodos that are coming from Trodos. So the red and the yellow and the brown. And so the brown is amber, yes, the blue, yeah. Keladonite. Yeah. Amber, Ochra. So these rocks come from the areas we have copper mines, this area. Because okay. these colorful rocks they used to make a uh, pigments. From antiquity until now, they still use, uh, they make pigments uh -huh. and they sell it, yes. And this is for paints. What do we use? The old churches, they used to use yes. this to oh, paint yes, the walls. Paint, yes. The pottery everywhere. They, their houses, uh, they used to use to be paint. But now mm. we cannot see them because the, the colors are deteriorated. They're faded. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we... I have a question. Okay. <laughs> I would like to hear why you became a geologist. Come on, <laughs> both of you. Well, um... Uh, it's not really an interesting that is story. Interesting. If it is interesting. Actually, it was by mistake I became a geologist. My math teacher told me, you have to try when I pass the exams. And I was really skeptic about that. I didn't know what is geology. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, when I was 18. Uh, so I went for a semester to try, and I was fascinated. It was love at first sight. And I'm still in love with science because it's constantly evolving. You cannot be bored. So if I, maybe if I went to math, I'll be bored by now. But geology, I don't think you can bored if you learn. It seems as if there's a new layer underneath. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like right now, you tell us why you became yes, a geologist. Yes, why I became geologist. Because it was very interesting subject for me. Uh, because especially geology was not on the, on the syllabus as a separate uh, lecture in the high school. It was under geography. Yes, I remember oh, studying it under geography. Yeah. Under yeah. geography. So Randomly. it came, and you know, uh, it was copper mine in Cyprus. Maybe we have a chance to work at a copper mine. On the other thing, I was very much interested about groundwater, groundwater resources of Cyprus because I didn't know, I didn't have any idea about how the water is uh, found, uh, oh. how the groundwater survey is done. So it came to me very interesting, and uh, I, I, yes, I, I, I went, uh, I made my master's, I made my PhD, and I am also giving lecture to the private university for civil engineering okay. students. So I'm very happy about it, and I traveled a lot uh, with this way. So I'm very happy about geology. So. My it's very nice subject. I used to do it as a hobby. I lived in Africa, okay? Yeah. And you used to go to the Zambezi River and the Orange River and you'd come back with uh, sacks of stones with a rose quartz and tiger's eye yeah. yes. and agates and just these, you would see this ugly stone, or the not ugly, um, colorless or brown. And then he would put it in that tumbler and it would clean it in the water ah. and suddenly it would sparkle. Ah. Mm. And you'd put it in the light and it would be millions nice. of make it's Very it nice. is, it's amazing. And you have both reminded me that every stone has these stories. Yes. Exactly. And your discipline demands that you be a, a storyteller, a scientist, yes. a climatologist. That's good. Sorry, a philosopher. Yes. The way that we're talking about mm -hmm. symbolically how the island, which is such a beautiful metaphor in which the, one in the about how interconnected this Everything place is. is as a melting pot of I think You've also told you that they're yeah. also doctors. Healers. No. no, healers in the sense that you know what affects you negatively. Not a healer is giving medication. Asbestos is not good for you. Okay. So you know what well, is positive. It's for a discipline, you follow the medical geology. You have some called medical, uh, if, you know. Yes, like information. Information, yeah. When you study the environmental health, as I did, the master I have done, you have some kind good medical uh, knowledge, but not all geologists have. You have to ha follow the medical geology okay. discipline to have some. But there are so many other disciplines in geology. That's why it's so fascinating. And I think uh, for somebody to understand what we experience as geologists when you are in our head. So when you go to mm -hmm. somewhere and you see a rock, people use, you, you, they see the rock, but I don't see the rock. I see the, how it was formed. So all yes. my mind is playing all the time how it was formed, what the story is telling you. Be? Yes. What formed it? Who went past? Yeah, I, I just uh, watching the Madeira, the documentary yes. about Madeira. And the journalist asked a geologist how it was for it was mm -hmm. fascinating for me Madeira that she asked or, actually asked Madeira the geologist. The, the, in Greece, in Greece. mounted with the churches at the top. Yeah, and he was telling that it used to be a lake now. And now you mm -hmm. see this huge rock because of erosion where they were created. And she was like stunned. And 
I mean, that's what we see mm. when we see something, how it was created, and the it stories should. tells you. And you really do open up experience, sensual experience and, and mindful experiences when you talk about the places we're standing. Mm -hmm. And it's, there's nothing more thrilling than that, like going on a hike with someone that actually Knows. can open up those stories for you. And that's why you have to have imagination to be a geologist. You have to uh, uh, culture it. Uh, uh, all the time. I mean, my professor was telling me you have to have this imagination and work with it to be able to see something that is actually dead, like the fossils. They are dead, but used to be alive some, mm -hmm. somewhere, sometime. I would also like you to just, uh, in closing, tell us a little bit about the geopark in the Drogos. Because there is a geopark. Yes. So I think it's a good place to start or to stop. Yeah, it's a good place actually to start geo tours since we are. I mean, that's why the geo pass was created to okay. promote a geological heritage of a place. And it rose from 2015, there is a, a geo park. And what is in, where is the geo park? Well, uh, the geo park is a big area, it's, okay. uh, it c includes 110 villages. Okay. But there is a museum, a uh, uh, visitor center, so people can go visit it. It's in the, uh, located in the asbestos mine. They can go visit and learn everything about the geo park. Uh, it tells the history of draws and h actually how the island was created, the things that we are saying today. Um, a lot of information about the. So the asbestos mine is safe to be in? And yeah, it's in okay. rehabilitation phase for 20 years now. And they transform it, try to transform it, the government, to make a, a like a theme park for mining. So in mm -hmm. the future, will be much more museums in the mine when they rehabilitate all the buildings. Now they have almost rehabilitated the mine. They, they tried to uh, renovate the bills and I to be uh, visitable. And the Joe uh, Park has got guides inside, people to give you tours and to give you information. No, I'm not at this stage. At this stage, it's only the museum and the geo trails that people come okay. visit. But if they need information about this, it's better to visit the museum. Okay, and there is a website so that they know where to go and what to find. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So if Just you, Google yeah, it. Yeah, Google it. <laughs> Is there anything like a geo park in the north? No, we don't have uh, uh, like a geo park style, but we have also very interesting sites uh, like Ayosiakovos village, north of Lefkonigo. Uh, there is a gypsum cave. It's very unique. Mm. It's a small but very nice place, uh, 300 meters length, and it was it's a, because gypsum is a soluble rock, mm. and uh, during the geological process it uh, occurred a uh, gypsum cave because okay. most of the caves are calcium carbonate uh, yes. cal uh, calcareous uh, caves but this is gypsum cave because there is a difference about their formula calcium sulfate <coughs> and calcium and carbonate it's impressive is, actually yes. i saw photos they're very impressive uh, yes. the crystals of the gypsum is oh, it crystal yes, yes it's crystal yes. Could yes. You say, have you got any photographs to send me Yes, of course. Send me two or three and I'll put them online after the show. Of course, of course. Yes, and so if you go to the gypsum cave, it's like a sparkling... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's a good idea. <laughs> and there is also in Galinovorni village, there is a man-made cave and also another yes. one, uh, Gorovia village, yes. on the way to uh, Karpas. Uh, these are handmade, handmade caves, but it's very, very impressive. Very impressive. I would uh, com recommend you. So to geo tourism waste. could be spelunking and going into these caves yes. and exploring yes. them. Exploring and them and also is a sustainable way of tourism for the people. And you know, tourism because is because you need guides. Field. So th these guides yeah. will help actually sustain the geology. They will not. It, you know, uh, where to walk. So yeah, yeah. They will tell you you yeah, cannot damage because you have to. I mean, that's actually your product. This the case is yes. your product. So you, ha you have to protect it. You know, for yes. the for the tourists that come by. Okay. And in the caves, there will not be a massive amount of people. So you have a small group, which is better as a sustainable tourist to take. Yes, the smaller the crowd. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. a better. And, and I would like to uh, be on to this point. You know, copper, why, why are we discussing copper? Because it's a very, very, very vital element and the mineral for the metal pro metal processing. Mm -hmm. And also they say that it gives the name to Cyprus or Cyprus gives to the copper element. To okay, from Cyprus. Cuprum, Cuprus. Yeah, we baptize actually copper, yeah. yes. as we know today. Okay.
Yes. So, so copper actually means the metal of Cyprus. The metal okay. of Cyprus. It's such and a. That's why it was about four thousand years ago. Cyprus was very important. It was a big trading uh, uh, region uh, yes. for yeah. copper uh, oh. mining. We, were, we export the ingots of yes. made from copper. Well, that's the reason why Limassol was such an important harbor because the copper mines. The, cl the closest harbor to the copper mines, Calabasos mine, Vasiligos, was Limassol, yes. was, yes. was it not? Vasiligos, yes. uh, not. Vasiligos, okay. yeah. And uh, 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 Scudiotisa mine, yeah. which is the, one of the ancient Damasos, uh, Damasos ancient yes. city. Yes. Ngomi is the biggest harbor. Yes, for, exactly uh, in the eastern, uh, yeah. eastern yeah. coast of Cyprus, and Meza from Mesopotamia up to France to the west of Mediterranean, Cyprus. Copper was salt at this time, mm. and yes. there are so many scripts that they are telling how how, how many tons of copper yeah. were sold as a metallic. Uh, yeah, the letters the, they found, like yes. the Egyptian, yes. he write a letter towards the Cypriot uh, king, and he was telling him a brother, which it was a big honor back then. Yeah, so I mean the ancient. Uh, in, in ancient Egypt, the letters the pharaoh was sending to king of Cyprus back then, it was referred to him as brother, which was a big honor, showing yes. the importance of the king of Cyprus back then. We need to get all these stories out more because we focus on the conflict, the recent conflict that all it brings is hate and mm -hmm. uh, tragedy and tears, and yet we, if we brought up this beauty of how unique this place is exactly. and, the, and how it came together even though it belongs to three parts of the continents, it actually yeah. wanted to come together, yeah. and here we're trying to divide it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another aspect of geology, peace building. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. That's a good exactly. one, a good title. <laughs> exactly. I think this is a good place to, st to stop, okay? I really want you to come back and tell us more stories, but maybe, yeah. maybe what we need to do is take you on a trail and hear the stories along the way. Oh, yeah, the sure. Okay. We'll of have course. to. Okay. Thank you very much, Mehmet de Enlightening, You're welcome. totally enlightening. You're welcome. To the listeners, I will put stuff online afterwards about what we've spoken about. And also, maybe it's time for all of us to step out from behind our mobile phones and walk the mountains of Cyprus. We live in a unique place. Let's explore. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's my message for today. <laughs> to all of you, keep walking and stay safe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.